The Oyster Bay Historical Society recently held their second annual Long Island's Top Advocates for Historical Preservation and Education Awards Ceremony at the Woodlands Mansion in Woodbury. The event is also a fundraiser for the Historical Society and a way to raise awareness about historical preservation efforts across Long Island. But it's also an opportunity for the Oyster Bay Historical Society to thank people in the field who work directly with historic preservation and also education and interpretation. So it really does fit in very much with our mission. These are people who do what we do and we support each other. What we try to do is, is bring history into the present and not just talk about history but allow people active in the field to talk about what they do and even demonstrate what they do if they are interpreters. So it's not just advocating for historic preservation, but it's giving people a venue and a soapbox to uh, present what they do. I'm very happy to be uh, recognized uh, for my time at the Oyster Bay Railroad Museum and essentially helping build the museum into uh, what it is today and also the Save the Jewel movement uh, to stop the teardowns of historic properties in Oyster Bay and the tree ordinance um, to stop the uh, teardown of old growth trees. I feel honored to be in this August body here that literally when you, you listen to many of the people, they started when they were teenagers, sometimes even preteens, and continued that passion all through with them throughout their lives. Oyster Bay it has a rich history. I think a lot of Oyster people in Oyster Bay are not aware of it, and we need to educate them on what is there since 1673. It's very nice because we have a lot to preserve. However, we've, we've lost an awful lot. You know, I, I remember this area, you know, in the, in the 50s, and we've lost so much. Even though this place has been preserved, it's a completely different place from when Mrs. Bruce Mellon owned it, because I, I knew her briefly, not well, but it, it's, it's just everything is different. So, frankly, I'd like to put everything back the way it was, you know, but um, at least we're heading in the right direction. I was quite impressed with the different, the variety of the activities and, and how voracious and how voluminous and how varied all the contributions of everyone was. I was quite impressed. I started to feel like a couch potato, really. Isn't it wonderful that all these people are working so hard and so diligently? And many of them just working without any connection to their professions, but something that's a passion to them. And that really just shows that service is so important. I am the one <laughs> who worked so diligently to uncover the history of the Underground Railroad here on Long Island. And I've been doing that since 1994. Um, my work has taken me many places and opened many doors and it's, it's fascinating. And I'm at the point that um, I've published a number of books and it's time to make those places preserved so people can actually go in and see and experience the history that's so important part of Long Island. The event is also a chance for the Historical Society to tell its story and reach out to new potential members. Um, join the Oyster Bay Historical Society. We're very active and we really want people to be a part of what we do. It was founded in 1960, although it's a much different organization now. We're membership based. Uh, we only have one membership meeting a year, but we have very many different events that are open to members and to the public. So it's book signings or workshops, art demonstrations, musical recitals, a little bit of everything. So uh, whatever people have an interest in, we try to provide a program to meet that need and meet that interest. In Woodbury, Chris Kalora reporting, Long Island Online News.